Hi vlog, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new guys, my name is Dana. I'm 24 years old and I'm currently on a weight loss journey that I document more closely over on TikTok. So if you don't follow me already over on there, I'm going to link it right here on the screen and also down below. So I encourage you to do so if you aren't already. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Today is going to be not so much a week in my life just because I don't have like crazy things that go on day to day but just kind of like a few days in my life I am moving and packing out my life this week um so I know that it's going to be a little bit interesting um I just don't know how many days this is going to be so I guess we will see I'm sorry that this is the way you're seeing me to start off the video I'm going to make it a new goal to take care take better care of myself get up in the morning a little bit earlier and actually like straighten my hair and look presentable when I go to work because as most of you know I am a full-time nanny this is pretty much what my outfits consist of every day just like a t-shirt and leggings or running shorts um good news I got my Shein package in the mail today I actually had it shipped to the house that I nanny at because I didn't know how I was still going to be in my apartment when it delivered um so it came today and I'm going to try it all on tonight and then do a like film a try on haul for youtube and tiktok tomorrow because my collaboration is through tiktok so that's where my main video is going i also have a discount code that i will leave a link down below so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that i am headed home now to purge my closet not just my closet honestly everything i'm a little bit nervous because i'm really really bad at getting rid of things but i think i'm gonna hop on tiktok live so that you guys can help me get rid of all my shit like I'm moving out May 31st. I don't move into my new house until July 10th. So I have this weird gap. I'm going to have to be living at Ben's for a little bit. My boyfriend, for those of you who may be new. And I'm moving the stuff that like I can't fit at Ben's to the like attic room at the place I nanny. Um, so that I don't have to buy a storage unit. They were so generous and offered that space for me to do like my bed, my mattress, my desk, and my TV. Like the big things that aren't going to go to Ben's for a month. So I need to start purging some things, downsizing, if you will, um, and getting rid of a bunch of things so that I can make packing easier, cleaning will be easier, moving in will be easier, and getting organized and situated in my new place will be easier. Um, moving out already stresses me out to the max. I'm so nervous about having this weird monthly gap where things are going to be scattered between Ben's and where I nanny at. Luckily, I'm here every day. So like, I'm pretty sure that the things that go to the bonus room, like here at the house I nanny at, like aren't going to be, it's not going to be like detrimental if I can't get to them or find them. It's really only a month. Hopefully they get my house cleaned before July 10th so I can just move in there at the beginning of July. It's all up in the air. And you know what? We're just going to roll with the flow. So we are on our way home now. My roommate and I are probably going to get to some dinner, turn the jams on, crank out some of this uh, cleaning, packing, organizing and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Today on my lunch break, I actually took out my planner for the first time in forever and started writing down what I need to get done this week. And I think it helped a lot, but I didn't realize that my planner was almost out. I literally did not realize that it only went until June. So I'm going to be needing to get a new planner soon, but this definitely helped me kind of get my thoughts all out on paper and kind of like give me a chance to look at it, you know, written down and just like gather my thoughts and everything that I need to get done over the next week because it is a lot. Ben is going out of town this weekend just in time for my move out date and my best friends Nikki and Sam who I am moving in with will also be out of town so it's a blessing and a curse. I don't really have anyone to help me move except maybe my brother if I can convince him to do so probably have to bribe him a little bit with money or food but we're gonna make it work. Um, my roommate also generously asked to um, you know, asked if I, she could help me. We actually got a U-Haul together. So I'm going to kind of be helping her move out like vice versa. It'll be nice. Um, but it does kind of suck that I don't have Ben, but I think it's somewhat a blessing because if everybody was here and going out and partying and having fun on Royal Day weekend and I was moving, I would be so sad, like having super bad FOMO. So I'm kind of glad that everyone's out of town. It'll force me to just like get my shit done. Hey guys, I have like three minutes to do a little chit chat before I head into work. So figured I would just, you know, update you guys because it's Wednesday and I haven't vlogged since Monday and I'm not looking any better than I was then, even though I promised to look a little bit better. My life has just been like crazy uh, these past couple days with um, packing up and everything. I went live on TikTok Monday night. If you guys were there, I owe you my life. I got rid of about half of my closet, like clothes hanging up in my closet, um, posted to Poshmark. I'll link that down below if you haven't checked it out. 
Um, actually, I lied. I don't even know if my clothes will still be up there um, by the time you're seeing this because I think I'm just gonna take them to play this closet. I sold like four things out of like, I don't know, 20 or something, um, which doesn't surprise me, but I just really, really want them out. Like I want them gone. Um, I'm going to package up what I sold today or what I sold yesterday today and get that out. I need to do my mile again. If you're keeping up with my TikToks, um, I have really, really bad shin splints, like literally so bad that I can barely move. Like afterwards I've been icing them and I've come to the conclusion that my shoes are just not going to work. I'm wearing Asics, which in my mind I was like, oh, well those are like really good running shoes. Um, it's fine. No, it's not fine because I've had them for like probably almost 10 years. Now, mind you, I don't run in them every single day, but I like they are worn. They're so worn. And I don't even know, honestly, how like what year they are. They were somebody's like they were my friend's mom's who uh, fit me one day when me and my friend went to the gym and she was like, just keep them like nobody wears those anymore. Gee, I wonder why they're probably so old. So I'm going to go to Dick's. I'm going to do some research today during work. And then I'm going to go to Dick's and pick out a new pair. I'm thinking maybe Brooks. I don't really know how much money I want to spend though. Like I'm just justifying this. because I was like, you know what? Um, I've really wanted to get back into running. I'm going to get back into running and exercising more often. And I just think I need this. I ran a mile every day back in August and I ran in those shoes and they hurt really bad. And I just feel like now that I'm taking this on again, I should do it. Um, anyways, I got to get going, but I do have a salted caramel cream, cold foam, blah, 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 blah. And a cinnamon raisin bagel with plain cream cheese. This is like my OG order, you guys. Um, I haven't ordered in a while because of my like whole dieting thing. But you know what? This morning I'm making an exception. Hi, guys. This has been so much car talk, this vlog. I'm sorry. Well, that's how like they usually go, I feel like. But... I don't know this is supposed to be like organization moving vlog and um it's just a whole lot of me discussing what i'm gonna do but not showing you so my goal tonight is to show you guys what i get done i have a bin of clothes um to take to play-dohs and then i have a bag of clothes to take to goodwill whatever play-dohs doesn't take i will take to goodwill um but that is like not even the beginning of the list of things i have to get done when i go in i made a list on my lunch break today and it is already 6 45 i got out of work a little bit late today um i have to i really really wanted to take pictures for my Shein collaboration to promote on my instagram um but i don't want anyone to take them and like i downloaded lens buddy and i have a trusty tripod uh for my iphone to take the pictures but i just like don't know if i have the confidence to walk out there with my tripod i just don't know so we'll see no promises on the pictures i might have to wait for a girl like somebody like a friend or my roommate or somebody to like take them for me but i was gonna take them last night but um it was like really crappy out but i have to do the tiktok um that's what the collaboration is it's through tiktok so i was like brainstorming all day like looking at inspiration on tiktok on other like reels stuff like that um to try to think of like a creative way to promote it so i think i have a few ideas that i'm going to try out so that is number one on my list because i need to look decent um usually i get home and just go for a run but i cannot run right now because like i'd have to shower and do my hair and then i would lose sunlight by then so i'm going to race in here right now get that tiktok done and decide about the pictures and then when the Shein thing's over it's over i'm going on a run and then i'll come back shower and then i need to go through paper um i don't know if you guys watch marie kondo but her thing is always like clothes and then paper and then bathroom kitchen so today we are going through all of the crap i have paper wise bills junk mail all that good stuff and just like little decorations sitting around or that have been sitting in bins all like year that i didn't even take out to decorate is going it's leaving i don't know where it's going i guess goodwill but it's going and i'm throwing away junk mail and all that good stuff <sighs> so that is what i have to do cleaning wise also the friends reunion premieres to or premiered today and i need to watch that tonight so hopefully i'll be able to get to that i can't talk any longer i've got i, I need to set like timeline like time limits for myself um it's 6 45 i'm gonna go up there and like put a little bit of makeup on um and start the Shein thing and i want the sh tiktok to be done by 7 30. let's see if we can make it happen okay so i ended up finishing my Shein haul by like 7 23 i think is when i sat down to edit it so i was making pretty good time 
Um, and then I edited until like four or like 745 and then went on my run. And then I just went to get a smoothie bowl for dinner and I'm going to sit down and eat that. Guys, this is the most boring vlog ever. Um, I literally don't even know if I'm going to post at this point because it's just kind of like, I'm not even showing y'all what I've done. Um, because to be quite honest, it's just so sporadic and I just feel like so guilty about the way that I do things because I don't know, I have a system and it just might not make sense to anybody. Like I have such a hard time focusing on like packing one thing at a time. So I don't know, maybe you can relate. I'll show you guys what I've gotten done. It's not going to look like anything major has gotten done, but to me, like, I feel like a huge weight has been like lifted off my shoulders because I knew that in order to get packed, I had to make sure my areas were clean, which they're not going to look clean, but they are to me. Um, and organize like things that I don't want are thrown away, like or gone, whatever. There are things that I'm getting rid of. Um, for example, my cube storage that I have my TV sitting on and stuff. Um, those things I put up on Facebook Marketplace and this woman reached out to me and actually said that she was rebuilding from a house fire. So she was in need of a lot of things. And I was like, girl, I am going through my stuff and I have so much to get rid of. And I'd so much rather have it go to somebody who like really needs it. And I get to like meet face to face and like, you know, really make that like connection. Um, then like give it to Goodwill or throw it away or take it to play with like all that stuff. It's just like, you never know like where it's going. Like I don't need like a ton of money for it or anything. Like I just need everything gone. Okay. So like I said, it's, it does not look anywhere near ready, but this is one of the cube storages that I'm selling. There's also one in the living room that's identical. I'm selling that one as well. This trash bag is stuff that's just going to Goodwill because I have no hope that Play-Dohs or anybody else is going to really want it. It's just like, it's nothing that's like really worn or anything. It's just plain t-shirts or like, you know, like this is an Alabama t-shirt, like Plato's Closet is not going to take an Alabama t-shirt um, that's a few years old. And then everything in this black bin is stuff that I think I have hope for, for Plato's Closet. Going into my closet, um, you might notice, I mean, this is like a pretty big gap for me. Look at all of these hangers. I mean, all of these clothes like are gone. So I'm feeling good about that. I went through my t-shirts too. I have a really hard time getting rid of t-shirts. Don't even get me started. Leggings. Obviously, I need a ton of leggings. I'm getting really into <laughs> leggings because of working out and everything. Um, I went through my jeans and my shorts. Um, so this is all good. Like, it's ready to pack. The issue that I'm afraid of is when I go to pack my separate bags. Because remember, half my stuff is going to storage. And half of it is going to Ben's um, and I need to have things like fairly organized when I get to Ben's because I'm going to be there for like a month and who knows? I mean, a month like really isn't that long. Actually, I'll be living where I nanny for a week because I'm house sitting for them while they're on vacation. So I have to like pack a bag for that. It's just, it's crazy. So... <sighs> I planned to stay up till like three o'clock in the morning to get a bunch of stuff done, but I feel good right now because I went through everything. That's what I was going to show you. I went through like a bunch of my shelves, um, old, like that black bin that has all the stuff that's going to put this closet was full of literally crap, like crap that I haven't even, like I moved here and then never took out. So I just separated it. If I wanted to keep it, I kept it. Like there was like goofy stuff in there, like a lint roller, a stapler, like a tape measure. Like I didn't want to just like throw those things out. I know that I'll use them. I just didn't know I had them. So I put those like in their homes, like where they go, my new designated spot for them. And, um, I went through like underneath my sink. I'm just like sick, like of the things that I found, like tons of toothpaste, um, contact solution holders, like, like, you know, the little like circle things that you put your contacts in at night, um, toothbrushes, shampoo like I didn't even know that I had any of this stuff it's like stuff I get for Christmas like stocking stuffers and then like throw it under there because I'm not in need of it at the time like I found razors and then I went through this right here because I'm gonna take this to my new house there's three shelves so like Sam Nikki and I are each gonna get a shelf and I went through like all the stuff that I don't need because I'm obviously not gonna be able to use all three shelves next year um there was a bunch of other decorations and I was like, I don't, I just like don't need this. Like I don't want space for it in my new place. So I added that to the pile for that lady to go through tomorrow because she says she's in need of a lot of things. And I want to be able to give her like literally anything I can, like little decorations. If you need something, like just take it, you know? So I'm going to go to bed. What I was trying to say was I was going to stay up until like three o'clock in the morning and just like grind some shit out, but I'm feeling good. I think the next step is to just start packing things away. So I'm just going to start that in the morning 
it's about 11 o'clock. So if I go to bed now, I'll be able to wake up at a decent hour and really get that stuff done. The goal is to take the things to Play-Dohs right away, like in the morning, just grind that out because I want to get rid of them as much as I can before like taking it to Goodwill or having these people go through it or whatever. I also need to take down everything that's on Poshmark because that's going to Play-Dohs closet tomorrow. I don't have time to like be making offers and like packaging up and um, taking it away. So those were up for like, I don't know, five or six days. I'm gonna take them down now. I mailed out that other Poshmark one this morning. Um, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, guys, good morning. Um, I just sat in bed. It's about 10 o'clock. I just sat in bed for like 45 minutes and edited the vlog up until this point. I cannot stand to look at myself any longer the way that I was like doing this. So I got up, put some makeup on, got my like, did my hair. Um, I'm filming like a day in my life for TikTok today. I used to do those on Fridays, but now I think I'm going to start doing them on Saturdays just because like it's a lot less hectic. Um, Play-Doh's opened at 10, so I'm already a little bit late. I wanted to be there at 10, but it just never happens that way. I'm going to stop and get Starbucks on the way. We're going to load up the car. I got the bin right here ready to go. And then um, I'm going to come back and there was something else I was going to do before one o'clock. I think one o'clock or at least around one o'clock is when that lady's going to come to get the cubes. That's what it was. I need to take everything out of those cubes because she's taking the cubes as well. So I have to find a place for all of those things to go to. This is the, um, the verdict on our apartment right now, if anyone's wondering. Okay. This is my bin before Play-Dohs. This white bag's going to Goodwill, but just take a good look. I want to know how much stuff they're gonna take. Okay, so we're sitting in line at Starbucks. I got the Butterbeer cold brew. Um, that's over on the Macro Baristas page. Honestly, I talk about him in literally every single one of my videos because I'm always getting Starbucks and that's where I get all of my like suggestions, recommendations from. He creates really good, I'm gonna roll this up because I think that the furnace or something is on. Actually, I think everybody who is sitting at the patio can hear me vlog. Anyways, he creates like healthier options at Starbucks and they're always so good. Anyways, I'm sitting here getting ready to check out, but I wanted to update you guys. It's so gross out. Mm, Ohio gave us a really nice week for like a couple days. It was sunny. It was warm. We were loving it. And of course, the weekend that I move, also Memorial Day weekend. So I'm sure everybody's in agreement with me. Grants, that's not a word. Anyways, it's so gross out like a little bit of sunshine would have made the vibes a little bit better today but you know what it's okay we're just gonna roll with it we're gonna get starbucks and we did our hair and makeup so everything feels good i don't really remember why i actually picked up the camera to update you i guess we're getting starbucks and then we're going to play-dohs and i'll let you guys know what they take and how much i make because i'm going to the one um this is, I guess, the one that's, like, closest to me technically, but there's a couple of different ones that are around me, and I think this one I usually get the most, like, profit from, so we're gonna see. Send prayers. Okay, so when I first got up to the window at Starbucks, I didn't know what I wanted yet, and I, like, totally panicked, so I asked them if they still had their Bantam bagels, which I used to be a frequent Bantam bagel buyer at Starbucks, um, so I know that these have been out of stock for, like, at least four or five months, but I didn't really know what to say, so that's what came out of my mouth, um, but... The man was so nice and helpful and was like, I did see them at Giant Eagle though. So I was like, okay, we are going to have to buy these. Um, I actually have bought them before now that I remember. I think I got them at Target or Acme or something like that. Maybe it was Giant Eagle. Anyways, I am getting ready to go now. I usually like to pull into Starbucks. Well, I am filming like my Saturday in my life um, on TikTok. So... I usually don't get any shots like while I'm in the drive through because like panic mode. So I usually pull off afterwards. You guys are getting all the BTS right now. Um, and like film, like, you know, sip and eat a little bit of my sandwich and stuff. I need to plug in the Play-Dohs to my GPS right now and we're gonna get on the road. So I'll update you guys. Look at this big old bin back here. Go make some money today. I feel it. I'm setting all the good vibes to the money gods. Okay, so I'm like 20-ish minutes from my house. So I don't really feel like driving home and then coming back to get it when it's done. It said that estimated wait time was like 25 to 30 minutes. So like by the time I get home, it would be ready and then I'd have to turn back around. So mm, I guess I could always come back later in the day. I just like don't, I just like want to get this out of the way, you know, now. So I have some time to kill and there's a lot of things over here. Um, I'm trying to think of like what I could get done. I really can't like buy anything cause I shouldn't be spending money. Um, so I don't want to go shopping. Let's see what this receipt says. 
so they have to be picked up today so it's not like i could just like leave it i'm a little nervous when i walked in there the sign says they're taking they're looking for like men and women's jeans graphic tees athletic wear i had a little bit of athletic wear but like i think i said earlier like i don't want to bring any of my athletic wear because i wear it all like that's like a lot of that stuff is new and i get a lot of use out of it so i don't have any reason to give it um i like a really nice loft coat that i don't think they're gonna take because it's like spring like no one like no one's gonna be buying a nice like dressier winter coat like i don't think they're gonna take it i just figured like since it was a good brand i'd throw it in there because they said they were looking for designer bags i don't have any designer bags and if i did have any they would not be coming to plato's closet but they had some like not so cute stuff on the rack so i'm really hoping they take a decent amount of my stuff i'm trying to think of how many items of clothing i even had in that bin i'm gonna say i'm hoping to get somewhere between 30 and 40 dollars that nail place is just called nails i'm trying to decide how far i want to take this do i take this all the way until monday when we turn in our keys or do i make that a separate vlog i don't know this is already at like 20 minutes so i think i might just like end this off not here but end it off like maybe towards the end of the day and then have tomorrow and monday be a separate like moving out vlog this is kind of like a packing vlog I want to do the move out, like, official move out thing. Like, I want to make it its own thing. I don't know. We'll see. Because you guys voted on my Instagram a while back saying that you liked the shorter vlogs. So, this is already going to be, like, nearing. We want to keep it under 30. So, I'm thinking that I'll just upload two. Um, I had a couple people. Oh, my God. It was so sweet. I opened my DMs the other day and there was, like, two different. I mean, it's two people. But, holy crap, you guys. You guys were, like i need a new vlog soon like i need when are you posting your next vlog and i was like that makes me feel so good because i get in these moods sometimes where i'm just like this isn't going anywhere like i don't know why i'm putting in the effort and like stuff like that just literally makes my day um so here i am feeling literally like important and famous because two people asked me to upload a vlog so i'll try to get this uploaded like tonight or tomorrow morning sunday morning and then that way um i can do like my official moving out vlog you know and i can post that this week and then I'll have one for moving into. I'm not going to do one moving into Ben's because, like, that's not exciting. It's literally going to be, like, five boxes that I'm just throwing in his closet for the month. But when we move in to our new house, it's going to be so fun. We've lived together before, but this will be, like, a brand new place. And we're really, really stoked to be, like, in this house. So um, that will definitely be vlogged. Don't you worry. So that's coming in July. I don't know what I'm doing when I get home. Emptying those bins. Oh, my gosh. What time is it actually? It's 11.30. She said she was coming. I haven't heard from her yet today. So we'll see. I gotta be home and like empty out those bins and have my apartment be like decently clean for this lady to come in and take my stuff. I'm gonna have to lift that TV off of the cubes. Oh my gosh, that TV is so heavy. Okay, enough chit chat. Okay, update, I'm still sitting here. It's 12.11, I walked in at 11.21. So it's been like 40 minutes and I'm still sitting here. I went live on TikTok, but not a lot of people were joining. I mean, it's like the middle of the day on a Saturday on Memorial Day weekend. So I'm not that offended. Just a little lonely. That's all. But anyways, um, the girl that was before me in line just walked out with her bin. So I'm hoping that my text is coming soon. Um, just hanging out, trying not to go over to Target and spend money. Okay, it's been an hour and a half. Um, so I just walked in there and waited in line for 15 minutes just to check on my order because I was like, what is going on here? Like it said, I didn't, it was nicer, but I was like, just checking. And they were like, oh, we haven't like, we've picked it, but we haven't priced it yet. And they had like a decent bin full of stuff. So I don't know, still holding out for like 30 bucks, which honestly will be my gas money by the time I go home and come back. Cause I'm not, I'm not waiting for another 20. They were like, it'll probably be maybe 25 minutes. And I'm like, no, because the last time 25 minutes turned into an hour. I'm not going to sit here and waste like three hours of my day when I have so much to do at home. So I just called my roommate and she said we can come back out later and pick it up. Um, I got to go home so that I can like, you know, get the stuff together for this woman that's coming to pick up the cubes. So Play-Dohs, you better be giving me a decent amount of money because I'm waiting so long for this. Um, I guess we'll see. Okay, just got home. And of course, two minutes after, like before I get off the highway to pull in, Plato's texting me and my order is ready to pick up. Order. Clothes are ready to pick up. Um, I'll go back there later because, yeah, I just, like, don't have time to do it right now, obviously. I'm gonna get some, like, grind some shit out right now and then go back later. Okay, enough about Plato's. I'm just gonna start packing now. 
Oh, so first things first, I'm going to do decorations. I have like all these little like trinkets and stuff on my cubes I need to get off, obviously, because she's coming to pick these up. I have this ladder shelf over here and all of that needs to go. My bathroom's a mess. Sorry. Um, my desk. I have so much stuff that needs to be packed away. Just like this, like these little like candles and like decorations that I don't need. I don't need until I move in anywhere else. Um, and I still think I'm going to get rid of, I have like so many candles and I barely ever light candles. I think I'm going to get rid of some of them. Um, there are just these like these little decorations that I just, I just don't know if I need to come with me. These hanging plants are my favorite. They're coming with me. That pot's going to come with me. Um, I don't know. Ben got me this like picture frame. I don't really hang pictures anymore. I'll probably still take it with me. I've got lotions, perfumes, um, my diffuser, oil diffuser and the oils. And then just like some little, I've got a couple books. It's going, it's going you guys. Oof, I just realized that there's like all of this stuff up here that I didn't go through. So let's get moving. <laughs> made it back to Plato's and it's like five o'clock or something like that and I found some more things in my room that I wanted to add so I actually like brought that to add it and she's gonna go through all of them now but I saw a little glimpse of my basket and there's a big receipt so I'm hoping that I'm gonna hit the jackpot but who knows so now me and Taylor are going to get food okay I wanted to update y'all because I went back to Plato's closet dropped off the extra you know little that laundry basket full of stuff and it'll have like a couple little things in it um but i ended up getting 54 34 so almost 55 dollars not bad um so then i went to the goodwill to drop it off and it turns out that that goodwill is closed so i'm going to be going to a different location um in my hometown actually to drop everything off at goodwill because i just cannot go home with it I, it will literally stress me out if I take clothes home. Like the whole point of them leaving the house was to get rid of them. Um, and now we are at the Marathon gas station picking up the U-Haul. Taylor is in there right now getting it. And we are going to take that home and start loading up the big stuff tonight so we can get it out of the way for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to start a new moving vlog tomorrow morning. So I'm actually ending the vlog off right here. I'm sorry that this was like kind of all over the place. It was really just prep for moving. So you didn't see a lot of moving going on, but I'm hoping for the next vlog, you'll be seeing some more, you know, moving things. That doesn't really make any sense. It's starting to rain. So I don't know if I can set my, I wanted to like, you know, do a little time lapse. Let's moving shit out, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and that lady did come to get um, both of the cube storages. She took two chairs, um, tons of little things that I found. I was really glad that we were able to give her a lot of stuff. Um, and she took all of it for like a really great price. So we just helped her load it into her van. She was really grateful. It was a cool experience. I'm glad that all that stuff's out of our way. So I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss my move out vlog. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. And we'll